Hey guys, so what's up again? Today we're going to be doing the inner center again, but instead of doing an acute triangle, we're going to be doing an obtuse triangle. We're going to find the inner center of that. So let's go ahead, shall we? So we got our point A, point B, and point C. There we go. And so to find the inner center, in center, we're going to have to bisect all the angles. Let's do that around. There we go. We're going to have to bisect all the angles, angle A, B, C. So let's go ahead and do that. Bisect A first, then B, and then C. Uh, we've bisected them, and when we bisect each angle, it also means that the two the two angles that have been the one the original angle that's been cut, such as B, that's been cut into two other angles, the two angles are congruent because the original angle was split directly and equally in half. So. Let's mark that. Let's not see. Now we have that out of the way. We also found the in center, which is the point of concurrency or the intersection, the point of intersection of three lines. And this is the point of concurrency of the angle bisectors of a triangle, which are these. So the point is right here, since all three lines, line, the line that goes through B, line that goes through A, and the line that goes through C, intersect right here. And so that's the in center of this obtuse triangle. This is helpful for you. See ya.